Hey guys, welcome to my second tower tutorial. Um, as promised, this is a video I put together for using the offline map function within tower. Um, for those of you who haven't figured that out, then this video should help you set up your new mapping provider called Mapbox and use that instead of Google Maps. Um, in addition to it being a different mapping provider, you're also able to download and cache your maps locally on your device without the need for uh, internet connected tablet when you're out in the field. And um, this video will show you how to do that. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is go to mapbox.com and you're going to create a free uh, profile or a free account. Okay, there's some paid uh, options as well, but you, you want to sign up for the free one. Um, I'm not going to go through that. I'm assuming you know how to sign up um, to a website. You've probably done it a thousand times. So once you've done that, what you want to do is click the Projects tab up on top. There's a little Projects button and you'll be brought to this screen here so you want to select projects and then there should be a default project listed here if there's not what you want to do is actually create a new project and creating a new project allows you to select the style of map that you want to use okay so in this example I'm just gonna go into my tutorial map that I had created now the interface is the same so if you're creating a new project and a new map um, all these options are going to be identical. So what you what you're going to want to do is click the style tab that you presented. You're you're going to see once you're in the uh, project window, and once you're in the style tab, you can see that there are a whole bunch of different types of maps that you can select. You know, some have uh, I don't know. This one's called wheat paste. You know, it's like a old school style map. Um, you know, there's satellite maps, and then there's satellite maps with streets, which is the one I kind of decided on. Um, you don't have to move the map to a particular location. All you're doing here is selecting the style of the map. Okay, so for our purposes, you know, I want a satellite map because I want to see the trees and the structures and the buildings and all that stuff on my map. So I'm not sure with a, uh, you know, uh, a cartoony looking map is going to buy you so you just you just want to select a uh, normal looking map with uh, satellite view okay um, it's having a little problem loading here but uh, nonetheless here it comes um, you want to select a map you like again I'm selecting satellite streets and you can Label this project by clicking the project tab on top and then the settings tab within that. And I call this the tutorial map. You call it whatever you want or don't call it anything. It'll just be called untitled, I think. So once you've uh, selected your style, you want to hit the save button, which is to the right here. Okay, and that'll save your uh, project. And to get back to the main menu, what you want to do is highlight or click this little head guy. And that'll bring you back to your account. And once you're there, you'll be presented the list of projects you created. And the only one I have here is the tutorial project. Now, once you've done that, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to need to obtain two pieces of information from here. One is this really long string on top called your API uh, access token, okay? In addition to that, you're going to need what's called your Mapbox ID, and that's listed right here underneath your project name, okay? Now, there's a couple different ways to get this text into your Tower application. Um, because, especially the API string up here, because it's such a long string, you want to be accurate when copying and pasting this value into Tower. Um, you're going to need both of these pieces of uh, text, and there's a couple ways you, you can go about it. You can try to copy and paste it from within your Android browser, 
but I haven't had much luck um, getting that to work because you see it skips the PK in the beginning to select is kind of wonky um, you know I'm trying to highlight what I need it's not really working all that well it might work better on different browsers so give it a shot um, but what I wound up doing was just loading up mapbox.com on a laptop and then clicking this little clipboard icon there and then here and what that does it'll copy that value into the clipboard and then I just pasted it into an email and I blasted that off to myself and once I was on my Android device I just opened up my mail client and I was able to easily copy and paste those two things from from the email message to tower so um, most of the problems you'll run into is not having this text copied correctly so this is important so make sure you copy and paste these correctly and um, it should work so once you've done that and you have the text copied somewhere or to the clipboard um, you want to go back into your tower app and go into the settings screen I'm using the new version of tower it's actually a beta version it's version 321 beta 1 you can see the menu looks a little bit different here so I figured I'd use the uh, go to version instead of you know demonstrating this on an older version as you know maybe things might change so this is the latest and greatest so if this looks a little bit different than yours um, you can you can uh, join the beta program and download the beta version but I believe the the options when you're actually in the settings screen are I are um, identical so what you want to do is go into your settings select user interface and then under user interface you want to select map provider preferences now here you see I have selected Mapbox instead of Google I'm gonna select Google here for a second under map tile provider um, if you have Google selected the rest of the options below are kind of grayed out the only thing you could select is the type of Google map you want but if you change your map tile provider to Mapbox now you're presented with a couple different options here the first one is enable offline map layer and what that does is basically enables the offline map layer right okay um, so if you're planning on using offline maps after you've downloaded them to your device then you want to have that checked um, the other one is add download map to the menu so this will add an option to download your maps from within the editor drop down menu so I'll have that selected as well now here is where you would pop in your map box ID that was the shorter string of the two and then that really long map box access token it's called the API token on the website but here it's called the map box access token you want to paste that value that you copied from your map box account to here okay uh, once you've done that if you go back to your um, editor screen I'm in the not flight sorry the come on now behave editor okay if I go into editor um, if the map loads then it worked if you didn't copy that string correctly there'll be an error at the bottom of the screen saying invalid something or another so you'll know you failed at that point so you'll have to try again and make sure you have the correct um, code copied in its in, in its entirety because I've had problems where I didn't I thought I had copied it all but I was missing a few characters on the end of the on the line and especially the map the uh, the API access token has that preceding PK dot you want to make sure you include that okay so now you'll see we have a download uh, map option here when you select the top right hand menu so you select download map and then you pretty much just zoom into an area you want to capture and uh, download um, the closer you zoomed in the less space it's going to take if you're zoomed in way out there then it's going to it's going to save all the levels in between the furthest zoom distance and the closest zoom distance so 
in this case, if I selected, I don't know, a little area of the map here, and, and then select the button on the bottom that says tap to save the map, you'll see it'll go out and it'll start downloading the map and saving it to your device. So when you're out in the field and you don't have an internet connection or you're in airplane mode or whatever, um, you should be able to come into your editor and see this part of the map cached and ready for you to use. Okay, um, it's taking a little bit to download, but once it's done, there'll be a little message on the bottom that says uh, map saved and then you know it works. And obviously you'll want to test it to make sure um, to actually see a map once you turn off your internet connection. So um, that's really it. Um, pretty simple. I know it could be confusing, especially if you don't know what an API access code or whatever the hell they call it is so um, sign up for your free account at mapbox.com you don't need a paid version just a free one create a project select your style of map and then extract those two pieces of text um, from that project screen and paste them into your settings screen and you should be good to go um, if that doesn't work for some reason let me know I'll try to help you out but the only problems I've ever encountered were related to not copying the codes correctly and putting them in the, the right boxes so that's uh, that's really it and you can also download your maps from within the settings screen uh, not sure how useful that is, but if you go into your uh, user interface, uh, map provider preferences, the same screen we were in, in between those two items we checked, there's a download offline map button here. So you can select that, and that that's the same thing as selecting download map from your editor window. So they work the same, but you can do it in two places. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Like the video if you like it and stay tuned for more super boring videos put out by yours truly all right bye bye